mercy gives birth to glory you cannot enjoy glory without mercy mm. Mm. God was speaking speaking clearly to David in second Samuel 7 15 I will not take my mercy from him as I took him from his dad he that was before you in other words what God took away from King Saul was mercy God took mercy from Saul and that was why Saul was moving from pillar to post the same thing the Lord said to him in first chronicles 17 13 when solomon was speaking in first king 36 solomon said that god showed his father mercy and in first chronicles i believe or second chronicles 1 verse 8 i think he said that by mercy he is reigning so solomon was saying i am reigning in the place of my father because god showed me mercy what is mercy mercy is not forgiveness when you say lord forgive me god sees the blood of jesus when you say lord show me mercy god sees the person of jesus the blood was shed but the person is interceding how do i explain this for you to understand forgiveness attract the benefit of the finished work mercy attracts the pleasure of the present work what is he doing at the right hand of the father of the father now is making intercession somebody say lord have mercy i can't hear you say lord have mercy when you say lord have mercy what echoes in the ears of god is the intercession that jesus is doing what echoes in the ears of the, of the father is the current intercession that Jesus is making say Lord have mercy you are not talking like you came to church well say Lord have mercy one more time say Lord have mercy say it again say Lord have mercy say Lord have mercy mercy is God's medicine mercy is God's medicine that is why he says in Abacock chapter 3 and verse 2 in rot remember mercy it says in Psalm 102 and verse 13 he says thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is come but he might cried out in Mark 10 47 Jesus thou son of David have mercy upon me in here the mercy is God's medicine when mercy shows up God's prescription is downloaded upon the cell upon the terrestrial of humanity God's prescription is embedded in the mercy of God it take mercy to come out of a messed life it take mercy to come out of a reproached life it takes mercy sir when you got born again you were still stranded you were born again you were broke you were born again you were suffering until mercy came that's what we call an encounter you now had an encounter either with an unction or with a grace somebody say lord have mercy i can hear you say lord have mercy one more time say lord have mercy say it again lord have mercy god said i'll show you mercy and and god said to abraham he said to moses he said you want to see my glory okay first of all let my mercy he's okay what is the next thing he said um number two to see my glory and um, moses there is a problem the second thing you must expose you can see that the glory of god is hidden in revelations anytime glory shows up it means secrets are unveiled there is something moses i need to tell you and moses what is that he said number two prescription 
which is important um no man sees my face and lives that's the second prerequisite no man sees my face and live that's the second entrance into my glory how does Moses need that God said don't, don't ever try know that no man sees my face and live yet in 1 Chronicles 16 11 the Bible says seek his face 2 Chronicles 7 14 popular verse of scripture of my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face Psalm 105 and verse 4 seek his face is it Psalm 26 4 now he said this is the generation of them that seek thy face huh? God just said no man sees his face and live and the same God told us to seek in other words God is saying come and die how can you say no man sees your face and live and now you are saying seek my face what God was trying to say is that the day my face is revealed to you the man in you dies no man Moses you want to see my face let the flesh that's the second point to see his glory let the flesh the spirit has to come the bible says in romans chapter 8 and verse 9 if any man has not the spirit of god is none of him <laughs> in matthew 16 in, in matthew 16 17 jesus said to peter flesh and blood has not revealed this Oh, so there are revelations that come by flesh and blood. Peter was not the first man who called Jesus Lord. Nathaniel did. But Nathaniel called Jesus Lord after Jesus called his name. It was the spectacular, the spectacular that made Nathaniel acknowledge the Lordship of Christ. So that revelation was flesh and blood. Because of what you did, now I say you are this. So this revelation is flesh and blood. Because I see something spectacular, that is why I love God. Flesh and blood. Because God has just given me a car, that is why my love for him has increased. Flesh and blood. But Peter, in his rejected state, in a state of no expectation, who do you say? I am there's nothing you are looking for for me to do for you there's no demand who do you say I am first of all who do men say because Jesus knew that men will always say okay now who do you say he said you are Christ mm. now you know I am Christ let me tell you who you are the revelation of your life is in the revelation of who he is is predicated on the revelation of who he is for in thy light shall we see our own light Psalm 36 and verse 9 in thy light shall we see so God said to him flesh John 6 63 he said it's the spirit that quicken it you can never achieve a divine goal using fleshly energy I told the story about Zechariah chapter 4 normally in the temple is the duty of the priest to pour oil on the lamp so that the fire keeps burning that's why the, the fire in the temple must never go out the priest sits down his duty is to watch the lamp in the temple to make sure the fire never goes out so he sits and he's watching the lamp so when the fire is almost going out he goes there and he puts oil on the lamp so the fire never goes out everybody leaves the temple except the priest every three hours every six hours every four hours he pours the oil so one time god shows zechariah a revelation and zechariah in zechariah chapter 4 zechariah sees a revelation and the lamp was burning 
and there was no priest in the temple that sounded very strange from what he grew up to know have it been a young man who grew up around the motions of worship in the temple he said what are these God said, I'm showing you an end time temple that will not be a location it will be a people and they will be burning but this time the oil being poured shall not be by power shall not be by might many of you quote that scripture but you don't understand what is the genesis of it he said this fire that shall burn shall not be by power it shall not be mechanical or technical it shall not be the physical human priest it shall be the spirit continually pouring the oil so the people continually burn it will be the spirit continually pouring the oil as they pour the oil the people burn as he pours the oil the people burn as he pours the oil show me your glory number three number three are you ready for number three because i'm moses i'm going to do something i'm going to show you my back part i will cause you to stand on the side and i will show you my what my back part so people say moses never saw God's face but he saw God's back ladies and gentlemen if I see your back I've seen a part of you huh? if I see your back bring God that, that is it verse 20 or verse 21 Exodus 33 let me show you something 22 shall come to pass while my glory passes by I will put in a cleft of a, of a rock and cover thee with my hand while I pass by 23 I will take my hand away thou shalt see my back part but my face shall not be seen give me message translation verse 23 I will take my hand away you will see my back but you will see my face Bring the TP to any good news, any other translation. Then I will take my hand away, but you will see my back, not my face. I will take my hand away, you, sh you shall see my back, and my but my face shall not be seen. So, if God showed Moses his back, and people say no man has seen God, it means we can invariably say that Moses saw the back of God seen the back of God he has seen a part of God no the back of God God was telling Moses I will show you where I am coming from what I did in the past where you were not there who wrote Genesis was it there and God said let there be light was it there that was the back God separated the land from the firmament. Was it there? That was the back. When you see God's back, you see your own future. Can I surprise you? In Deuteronomy, Moses wrote and Moses died. He was still alive when he wrote it. Who wrote Deuteronomy? And he wrote and Moses died. Sent to Moses, Moses, I will show you what I did when nobody was there. Sir, if you want to see the glory of God, you go to your Bible and begin to study what God has done in the past. Study how God blessed the man in the past. That was what David did when Goliath came to him. He looked at Goliath and Saul said, This Philistine had been a warrior from his youth. Number two, this Philistine has a spear that's bigger than you two times. Number three, this Philistine, he does not miss a target. And David said, let me show you the back of God. There was a 
time I kept my father's flocks. The lion came. I tore the lion with my bare hand. There was a time I kept my father's flocks. The bear came. I tore the bear. The God who delivered me from the lion and the bear will deliver me from this uncircumcised. I want to ask you a question. You need a miracle. Talk to me. You need a miracle. Has God done it before? You want a glorious future? Has he done it before? You need a baby. Look for a scripture that locates the back of God. Hannah got a baby. Rebecca got a baby. It's time to see where God is coming from. He made Abraham rich in cattle. He can make you rich. Am I speaking to somebody? He said, children shall surround your table. He can do that for you. He was saying, Moses, if you want to see my glory, begin to uncover what I have done in the past. Begin to discover where I am coming from. Begin to uncover what I did in the days of old. In the days of old, he turned water to wine. In the days of old, he healed the leprous men. In the days of old, he opened the eyes of the blind. In the days of old, he unstopped deaf ears. In the days of old, One day, Mama came to where I kept some clothes. Very, very organized. Very organized. I organized them in an, an unorganized manner. So I just dropped them. And she said, you don't use this clothes anymore. I said, some. She bundled them. She kept them. Bundled, kept them. Bundled, kept them. And she said, you can't wear this anymore. You've worn them over and over. Give them out. It's okay. And they gave it out. They gave it and one of the people they gave it to took it and hung it outside. A madman was passing. A madman was passing. Passing by the line where the clothes were. Mama shared this with me herself. He came from the girl they gave the clothes. The madman grabbed that t-shirt and ran. In his mind, he stole. He wore it. Senses restored. Senses restored. 2004. A woman was in labor, had a set of twins in Irwa, and the doctor said the two babies were dead. Not that they just died, they were smelling. There's an option. They're going to operate her, and they will have to remove the womb along with the dead babies. The husband said, God forbid. Drove down to Auchi. It was the generation of giving number for counseling. <laughs> oh Lord. I will sit down 5 a.m. Oops. The counseling was. Did I counsel you? Were you in that in that you, because the way you are shaking your head, Tenebe? <laughs> God. A long queue, I will counsel tonight. And the guy came. I had just finished a session. I said I was tired. I was resting. He looked around and saw my clothes. He stole it. Why the boys, some boys were trying to catch him. The guy took off. Entered his car. Went back. Placed the cloth on the woman. And began to cry. I know me first. I know me first. But I carry cloth. Come. Put them. The woman held it and they were crying. The doctor said it's time to go to the theater. The woman noticed something moved in her womb. Something moved in her womb. And the doctor said, Why are you doing your stomach? He said, The thing they told me, they told me, he said, Okay, okay. Because normally, for you to do an operation, they have to flush your system. One day or two, you stay without meal. So the doctor said, Now nah, the reaction, you never eat. Let's do it quick. He said, No, something they kick. They kick. The doctor said, What kind of, what kind of nonsense talk is that? 
your babies are dead please take her he was kicking the nurse put the hand he said doctor there's a kick the doctor put it he said wait he put it he said wait he put it he said wait now the next thing they opened the leg head was coming out now they rushed her in the first one came out the second one came out the doctor stood looked at the nurse looked what happened get the notice she was holding something they tried to take it from her hand she wouldn't let it go it was the cloth she was holding and the doctor said what is that the husband said that's what i gave my wife she put it something happened the doctor said we have a case we've been on that case for about a week give me the cloth the doctor left left where the woman delivered the baby am i speaking to somebody here took it to that the whole place went wild sir i was resting in the house it wasn't me it was the glory somebody says show me your glory show me your glory a lady from baptist church in lagos surulere her husband was chained he had been mad for nine years and somebody told her about her ministry and this woman came and they said she cannot see me i don't know why and she couldn't see me she was going back discouraged and she was unhappy she got to the park over there when she got to the park about to enter the car she saw a poster she looked she asked somebody is that the apostle suleiman they said yes and she walked to the picture is your apostle i came from lagos to see you she was talking to poster he said they say i can't see you but i'm telling you now before i go back my husband for nine years he has been mad pray for him i'm going back to lagos pray for him while she was talking the car was getting free gradually he said i know that your god can do it they say i can't see you but i came to see your god she was talking to poster while she was still doing that her phone began to shake her phone was vibrating still while she was doing that her phone was vibrating she picked up the call and told the young boy that was thinking of the husband he said can they come are they come he said wait or that one talk to you the man began to scream when did this happen they said about five minutes ago he just turned where is my wife somebody says show me your glory show me your glory Kanye, you say show me your glory show me your glory i was preaching in benin city western boys high school that is where dr adebayo saw me the first time take care of those people you were there west how many of you are in western boys high school years ago okay many were there a woman brought her son on the wheelbarrow born crippled they came to beg for money they could not afford a wheelchair so they came to beg for money it was about 10 years old the legs were so tiny and fragile they came to beg for money so they positioned at the gate people passing by were dropping money and as i began to pray miracles were happening so the woman obviously interested began to wheel her child to see what was going on she see that one i can see i can walk i can do she said eh? hey why she was so interested she forgot she brought her child abandoned the child I went forward i was looking eh? wow ah, ah. Eh? hey these people they are pure they will give us money today <laughs> they will give us money she went back the wheelbarrow was empty what do you call wheelbarrow for our uh, international delegate it's wheelbarrow that's what they call it here okay okay wheelbarrow actually is the barrel with the wheel <laughs> and the wheelbarrow was empty she was shouting where am i picking where am i picking the next thing she turned the child was walking on the altar the child had jumped up and was walking and they abandoned the child. There is a miracle. There's a miracle. She shot the child. She was screaming. She was screaming. Somebody says, Show me your glory. <laughs> Preaching in the church in Benin. There was a boy who was born with O legs, not bow. O, O, O. O, round. That's how he was born. And the power of God hit the place. The legs became straight, the trousers became short. 
and i remember that testimony i turned to the sister i said is this your brother he said from the waist up is my brother from the <laughs> from the waist down is not my brother somebody show me your glory but we are in this church and there were two little babies that we are brought here without eyeballs from Portacot. No eyeballs. It's on video, it's online. You can check it. No eyeballs. And the Lord said to me, Place your hands. Their face was sealed. The power of God hit the first child. God gave two new eyeballs. The power of God hit the second one. God gave two new eyeballs. How many of you in service that day? Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. It's about to be a Yamahata. A release of the fullness of celestiality terrestrially the embodiment of divinity is about to be unleashed on your humanity that by reason of this deposit and element coming you begin to walk in the supernatural naturally i say walk in the supernatural naturally walk in the supernatural naturally show me show me show me assemblies of god benin the lady had cancer and her two breasts were cut off and I was ministering and I said there's somebody the Lord said you had the cancer operation and they cut off your breast the Lord said check it it had just grown now when I said it I kept quiet because I was scared so this is when I talk she would be happen somebody screamed and she was running out struggling with the usher she want to open her clothes usher is covering it she want to open cloth usher is covering it they were dragging so i told them I said, this is wahala what's going on she said it's growing out it's growing out it's growing out what god's glory can do god's people can enjoy you have been too used to natural manifestations I'm not here for people who are expecting normal things. Atata. 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 I'm here for people who are expecting something supernatural. 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 Supernatural, 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 supernatural. I don't want too many protocols around me. I don't want too many protocols around me. Anyone who wants the glory come as I'm talking. It's been extended to you. You can begin to take it. Show me, 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 show me. Leave them, leave them, leave them alone. Leave them. Show me, show me. Show Thank you for watching Udeme Fruitful Channel.